Hello, it is Mr. Siva Supramaniam, you, but you can call me Manavananian instead. That is my name, Manavananian Siva Supramaniam. I am station master at West Green, my lovely station in London. I got rid of that Steve man. He's an awful man. I jest. I'm here. So, that's my alter ego. Look at this. This is where West Green's going. But anyway, I've started laying a bit of track. So I've got seven, I'm, a, I'm actually getting excited about this, seriously I am, I, I know I joke a lot, but I've got seven pieces of set track, and uh, watch this, some of my locos, some, the 062s, I've got a problem with clearance at the back, uh, I'll tweak that, I might need a bit of surgery, but anyway, look at this. This is a, uh, this is a uh, well, Gladiator make these now, but when I got it, this was a four-track model from Harrow, J6. This is DCC, but I'm running it on DC. Oh, bloody hell, very nice. You've got to forgive me. I've got a diesel. I've got a uh, 08 shunter. I got this from Hattons. It was 147 quid. And that was delivered here in Australia. Australia. How about that? But it works. That's about the longest run it's ever done. I haven't got a chip in it. I'm tempted to get one and have a bit of sound in it. No, I'm not really a big fan of sound. But anyway, look. So, my next thing, I was going to show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, as you all know, when you have a tight curve, any deviation of it, when it's tight, can cause a bit of a kink in the rail uh, and cause stock to come off. So that's, which is why I use set track. And I thought, well, I've got to put an outer track. So what I've done, and I'm going to use, because they don't make an outer track, an uh, radius, not as far as I know, I've got to use flexible track, but even this is pretty sharp. So I made up these jigs. I've mentioned this before, 32 uh, mil wide plastic card, what clips between the rail, and center to center, is 95 mil apart. So I can put these on, move it around, tack this down, and I should get a nice, trans uh, I should get a nice curve. Um, we'll see. It's gonna be time consuming, but well worth doing correctly. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm back. This is a few hours later. It's uh, Thursday night. So what I've done, this is Pico set track. Oh, sorry. Oh, set track, set track, set track. Seven pieces. Uh, and I wanted to put a second radius of Pico flexible track. Problem is, this sharp radius, any kinks, any kinks is going to cause me grief. So, um, so what I did is I made up these jigs. I've said this before. I'm going on, carrying on. That's 95 Cent, uh, millimeters between center of uh, rails uh, and I spaced off it but of course one of the problems you have if you're not unless you're very very careful is how to get a good joint so what I did I cut back I cut back sleepers I don't know about six inches each side and then I ran the, I, I ran the nail sorry, the rail, through my finger and thumb and flexed it to put a set in it. And that way, it looks like set track. And it, it goes around all right. It doesn't wobble. There's no kink. So I am very, very pleased with that. I can't believe I'm getting there. 
Funny that, you know, look here, I'm, I'm recording this on my phone. This is a Samsung J5. As opposed to that, that's a Gresley J6. Or, originally an Ivac J6, but yeah, Gresley one. That's a Gresley built job. So... Done that and then let's move this over. I'm just using this to test it as I go. This will be DCC. It's my only diesel. I'm really pleased. I really feel like I've uh, achieved a heck of a lot. And as you, as it's probably most important I get there, because then I can work down this side and down this side. Obviously, I only got seven pieces because I'm gonna I've got to put a transition in. So this is gonna come round and uh, sorry, a transition from there and get to a more realistic six foot way. But, um, yeah, the only problem I've got is with these 062s, um, whilst the six wheels go around, there's not enough clearance. So I'll have to look at how to fix that. Obviously, I'm going to have to do some, some tweaking on the chassis, made a bit of minor surgery. Uh, yeah, very pleased. Can't believe I've done it, but I have. Uh, leave comments if I've encouraged you. Great, if I haven't. Uh, well, it's just the way it is. Yeah, hopefully I've encouraged people. And Mr. Siever of Subramanium, Station Master of West Green. <laughs> Don't know why I pick on that. Probably a nice man, Mr. Siever of Subramanium. Anyway, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching.